one last time. One last time. <laughs> Hello viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button and be a part of our family. The best movies on Hulu right now, June 2024. This is very real. Depending upon whether you consider the made-for-TV movie Omen 4, The Awakening is canon, the story of The Omen has been over since the third film hit theaters in 1981. And yet the first Omen reinvigorates the franchise with a prequel set in the early 1970s before the events of the original film, the film follows Margaret, Nell Tiger Free, an American who has come to Rome to train for a life as a nun out of her religious devotion. Almost from the start, Margaret finds herself targeted by a conspiracy that she doesn't understand. The forces of evil have decided that Margaret is the perfect woman to bring the Antichrist into the world, whether she wants to or not. You create something to fear. I believe the girl is to be the mother. Mother of, of what? We're not just black, we're cops too. We'll pull ourselves over later. <laughs> to paraphrase the immortal words of Danny Glover from the Lethal Weapon movies, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are getting too old for this bleeping bad boys for life. That can't be avoided when the sequel comes out 17 years after the second film. This does work to the movie's advantage, as Detective Lieutenants Mike Lowry, Smith, and Miles Burnett, Lawrence, clash over whether they should retire from the force, before they can think about stepping away for good, they'll have to contend with someone from Mike's past, Isabel La Bruja Aretas, Kate Del Castillo. Isabel is the widow of a drug kingpin, and she sent her son, Armando Aretas, Jacob Scipio, to Miami to wipe out their enemies and get her revenge on Mike. And when Armando strikes, he strikes hard. Female problems. <laughs> Slums of Beverly Hills. Remember, never judge a girl by her address. Natasha Leone was still very early in her career when she nabbed the leading role in the coming-of-age comedy Slums of Beverly Hills. Leon plays Vivian Abramowitz, the 15-year-old daughter of Murray Abramowitz, Alan Arkin, a hard-working father who can't support his kids in the 1970s. At least not without the help of his wealthy older brother, Mickey Abramowitz, Carl Reiner. When Mickey's adult daughter, Rita Abramowitz, Marissa Tomei, comes to live with Murray and his family, Vivian finds herself roped into keeping Rita from relapsing into addiction and getting into trouble. The problem is that Vivian wants to spend time figuring out who she is, and what she's going to be like. She may be a bad influence on her older cousin, and the reverse is also true. Even if everything else is wrong. Vivian, I don't know It follows as one of the most inventive horror films of the century because it came up with a new breed of monster slash slasher. The monster in this film is a curse that can take on the form of almost anyone as it relentlessly pursues the last person who had sex with the previous victim. Jamie J. Height, Long Lake star Micah Monroe, discovers this only after her new boyfriend, Hugh, Jake Weary, sleeps with her and passes on the curse, only someone who has been touched by the curse can see the entity, which never runs after its victims and it never has to. The entity always knows where Jay is, and no matter how far away she gets, it's always going to be there unless Jay figures out how to break the curse. Mom? No, it's me. I've... Something else going on here. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. Brad Pitt was 58 years old when Bullet Train hit theaters in 2022 and yet you can't tell his age by looking at him. As Pitt has grown older, he's also gotten a lot funnier, and this movie makes his character, Ladybug, the butt of a lot of the jokes in the film. Ladybug is an assassin who is very unlucky, to the point where he wants to leave the life of a killer behind him. But he's roped into filling in for an operative on a Japanese bullet train for a supposedly easy job, all Ladybug has to do is retrieve a briefcase full of stolen money and slip out of the train before anyone realizes it's missing. It's easy to say, and almost impossible to do when multiple assassins get on the train, each with their own agendas. 
Ladybug may not have been looking for trouble, but it's found him. And there's an even more dangerous threat awaiting everyone at the end of the line. We are right on schedule. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting, bitch! Whoa! I've led you here. 